Pop Punk Rock, a genre of music that was extremely popular in the early 2000s, with great artists like Fall Out Boy, Panic at the Disco, Paramore, and My Chemical Romance, pop punk was honestly one of my favorite genres, and I was sad to see that it eventually faded from relevance. But thankfully, in the past couple years, pop punk has actually had a bit of a resurgence with artists like Machine Gun Kelly and Lil Huddy and Trisha Paytas. Okay, so maybe pop punk isn't in the best place right now, but what if I told you that someone has come to save the pop punk genre? No, not him. No, not him. Him. The man who is going to save the pop punk genre is an artist named Arya. Arya has had a bit of a questionable past, like when he used to be a pickup artist who would be very rude and pushy towards women. We're here today with some girls whose names don't really matter, so I'm not gonna pretend like it does. Sell terrible pickup artist online dating courses and have interesting conversations about how girls are at their sexiest when they're young and have just started college. Some people think I'm too old for this. Fuck them. I like college girls, man. <laughs> Who does it? I don't know, man. I've gotten messages being like, oh my gosh, dude, they're college freshmen. You're 24 years old. That's gross. It's in our evolutionary, like, it's like in our bi biological wiring, like, to like girls, like, that age because they're like the most like fertile and shit like they'll have like the best babies yeah i know what you mean dude like <laughs> it, <laughs> dude college girls are are cool like they're they're just like fun and like they're young and like they're just open-minded and shit so they're just like oh yeah like yeah let's get drunk but i promise you all of this will be forgiven when you hear his music bro bitch no friends the M. Some people online have accused Arya of being an industry plant. This means that they don't think Arya is a genuine artist who found success organically, but that his image has been fabricated and pushed inorganically by the music industry. For some reason, a lot of these newer pop punk artists have been accused of being industry plants. Personally, I do not think Arya is an industry plant. I think he is a genuine artist who makes genuinely bad music. Arya hasn't found success by being planted by the music industry. He's found success by having a cringy YouTube career and by ripping off various pop punk artists and trying to pander to the audiences of these artists. For example, in his short film Candyland, he pandered to the audience of My Chemical Romance by wearing a My Chemical Romance shirt and by titling one of the songs Welcome to Candyland instead of Welcome to the Black Parade, the My Chemical Romance song. In his song Losers, he pandered to the audience of Machine Gun Kelly by ripping off Machine Gun Kelly's pink aesthetic and by having this girl wear a shirt that says, Likes MGK. He ripped off Fall Out Boy by titling this song, Sugar I'm Going Down instead of Sugar We're Going Down. And in his most recent song, Ha Ha Ha, he completely copied Corpse Husband's voice and then posted to TikTok trying to get Corpse's fans to listen to the song. Apparently this song is about how in America people get molested. I'm pretty sure people get molested in a lot of different countries, but I guess he's just trying to raise awareness for the fact that it happens in America. And to demonstrate that in America people get molested, he's dressed up as Captain Crunch. Maybe he's trying to imply that he thinks Captain Crunch is the type of cereal mascot that would molest people. Mm, I don't know about that. If there's any cereal mascot that would molest people, it's definitely this dude. 
Anyway, basically, Arya doesn't have much of an identity of his own. His identity is an amalgamation of various other pop punk artists. But my main issue with Arya isn't really that he makes cringy music and he rips off other artists. My main issue with Arya is that he has a long history of being a creepy weirdo. Yeah, we've all showered. I know what I'm masturbating to tonight. While simultaneously trying to act like he's some sort of white knight who has come Come to women's rescue. He's definitely the stereotype of the dude who tries super hard to like prove how much he loves women to hide the fact that he's actually a massive piece of shit. Anyway, with a bit of that backstory out of the way, it is time for us to take a look inside the dark and twisted mind of Arya. Let me take a second to thank today's sponsor, Rocket Money. Just a little while ago, I got this random $180 charge from this website that I had completely forgotten I subscribed to like a year ago. As life gets increasingly busy, it can be really difficult to remember all the random websites and services that you're subscribed to. It can be easy to sign up for a lot of different subscriptions thinking, oh, these are only like a little bit of money here, a little bit of money there, but it can really start to add up over time. Well, thankfully, today's sponsor is here to help. Rocket Money is an all-in-one finance platform that helps you save more and spend less. This personal finance app allows you to manage your subscriptions, lower your bills, create a custom budget, and grow your savings all in one place. I've been using Rocket Money to help me safely and securely identify those annoying recurring charges and cancel those subscriptions without me having to like waste hours of my time trying to remember what random websites I'm subscribed to. I've also been using Rocket Money to help me create a budget so I'm more careful not to waste money and I've been using it to track my credit score all in one place. So, to save more and spend less, join the 3.4 million members using Rocket Money. And don't worry, I've got the hookup. Go to rocketmoney.com beard or click the link in the description to get started for free or unlock even more features with premium. That's rocketmoney.com beard to get started for free. Get your money right with Rocket Money. The first song I ever heard from Aria was a clip from his song Losers that went viral on TikTok a few months back. The song Losers is about how Aria is stuck in a town full of losers and if he can't get out, he's gonna kill himself. This shitty state is full of losers And I pretended to ever fucking like you I swear to God I'm gonna get out of here someday Cause if I can't, I'll fucking end it! This is pretty ironic because Arya is basically that one dude from your hometown who's in his late 20s but still likes to act like he's a teenager so he dresses up like it's 2006 and tries to get himself invited to college parties even though he's 10 years older than everyone at those parties. Usually that's the type of person that people think are losers and usually people want to kill themselves when they have to be around people like Arya. But Arya has flipped the script and said, no, 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 actually, I'm not a loser, everyone else is. In the video, he has all these background actors wearing shirts that have various words on them. What I can't seem to figure out is if these words are meant to show how these people see themselves or how other people see them. Like, this girl's shirt says likes MGK, but this girl's shirt says bitch. So is this girl calling herself a bitch or is she saying that other people call her a bitch? Is this girl saying that she actually does like MGK or just that other people think she likes MGK? This dude's shirt says likes butt stuff and this dude's shirt says misogynist? 
So is this guy saying he actually likes butt stuff or is he saying that other people think that he likes butt stuff? Is this dude saying he's actually a misogynist or just that other people think he's a misogynist? I am incredibly confused because if this guy's shirt does mean that he likes butt stuff, then this guy's shirt must mean that he actually is a misogynist, which can't be true because there's no way our boy Arya would spend time with misogynists. It's in our evolutionary, like, it's like in our bi biological wiring, like, to like girls, like, that age, because they're, like, the most, like, fertile and shit. Like, they'll have, like, the best babies. <laughs> As I was watching the video, my first impression was that Arya just seems like an amateur pop punk artist that isn't really that important. But then I noticed that he got the king of chlamydia to be in his video. Most musicians can only get like a chlamydia lord or a chlamydia duke or a chlamydia earl to be in their videos, but if Arya got the king of chlamydia himself to be in his video, he must be at least somewhat important. Broke bitch, no friends, homeless, without the M. So here, he says that he's homeless without the M. If we remove the letter M from the word homeless, we are left with the word holeless which means that Arya has no hoes. In other words, there are no women that want to sleep with Arya. Now, I find this confusing because according to Arya, he's in a shitty state that's full of losers. You're telling me that in this entire state full of losers, there isn't a single loser woman that would choose to sleep with Arya? I don't know, maybe they're all too busy sleeping with Mr. Likes Butt Stuff? Life sucks, so CKS. I'm in Spain without the S. I'm in Spain without the S. As you can see, Aria likes to communicate by saying a word and then removing one letter from that word. I'm glad that people don't usually communicate this way because that would get very confusing. Doctor, I think this man is hairless without the H. Hairless? What, what are you talking about? He clearly has hair. Hairless without the H, Doctor. Without the H? How did this happen? Apparently he was beating some meat without the B, and a piece got stuck in his esophagus without the P. So, Doctor, I think he really needs the Heimel dick maneuver without the D. He needs the dick maneuver? If you say so. No, doctor, the Heimel dick maneuver without the D. Oh, with, without the D. <laughs> Too late. People on TikTok didn't really like this song. They said that it was boring and derivative and lame and cringy and trying too hard. And while all of this was true, it wasn't very nice and Arya was not happy. He especially was not happy with commentary YouTubers that criticized him. He seems to really hate commentary YouTubers. Commentary content is the lowest form of artistry in existence. There is nothing more just like brainless than sitting behind a computer like me with one of these microphones and these headphones and being like, oh yeah, this, this person trying to do something cool is cringe. He thinks that commentary YouTube is the lowest form of artistry in existence? He is absolutely wrong about this. My life as a commentary YouTuber could not be more difficult. Every single day, I wake up, jerk off, eat food, jerk off, play some video games, jerk off, scream at my camera for a few hours, jerk off, then go to sleep. This is a grueling lifestyle and I demand respect. So, <laughs> I agree with him that it is much easier to sit and criticize people than it is to actually put yourself out there and create art. However, when you do create art and your art is shit, people are gonna criticize it. Critics have always existed and they always will exist and I think you need to just accept this instead of getting incredibly defensive and crying about the fact that people are criticizing you. However, even if commentary is one of the lowest forms of content in existence, there is a form of content that is even lower. Pickup artist content. Years ago, Arya used to be a pickup artist under the name Simple Sexy Stupid. 
The first thing I noticed when looking at his logo were the letters SSS. As we all know, the Nazi party were the SS and Arya is SSS. Does this mean that Arya is secretly a super Nazi? Probably not. The name Simple Sexy Stupid is actually pretty accurate. I'm not sure about the sexy part, but this content definitely is simple and stupid. In most of these videos, Arya is wearing this shirt that has the word Bay spelled in Greek letters on it to show that, yeah, he's a bit of a frat bro, but he also has a quirky side. Basically, in these videos, he would harass random women on the beach with extremely sexual questions. What is the proper way for a guy to, what is the term, lick that pussy? And if a woman ever seems uncomfortable with the questions you're asking, make sure to keep pushing because there is nothing women love more than being pushed into answering questions they don't want to answer. Why you guys like act like you don't know what that's like? You ever heard of a uh, licking dat pussy? <laughs> you, you know, you know, like, la, 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 la. come on, come on, you know what I'm talking about. You know, la, 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 la. <laughs> come on, come on, answer the question. We all know what we're talking about here. We're talking about the, la, la, la. <laughs> you know, answer the question. Answer the question. Arya really likes to talk about eating girls out, which is why he has a song called Sugar, I'm Going Down, where he says that he wants to crucify girls with his tongue. Dead for Not a lot of people know this, but in biblical times, tongue crucifixions were actually pretty common. Roman soldiers would nail Jewish people to a cross and then lick them until all their skin fell off. I think that's probably what he's referencing here. My other favorite line in the song is when he says that he likes his girl in his coffee because she's a creamer. So I guess he's saying that he likes it when his girlfriend ejaculates into his coffee. Uh, I can't say that's something I've ever tried, but I guess don't knock it till you try it. Normalize women squirting into coffee. <laughs> anyway, back to Simple Sexy Stupid. Let's learn more about how to be a good pickup artist. Aria would make these videos where he would kiss random girls or try to pressure girls into kissing other girls. And if you ask a girl to kiss you and she hesitates, make sure to just go ahead and kiss her before she gets a chance to say yes or no. Would you kiss a guy? Yeah. yeah. Would you kiss a guy wearing like a yellow shirt, super tall, handsome guy? What about that? Um. <laughs> And if a girl says that she's uncomfortable kissing other girls for men's entertainment, make sure to keep pressuring her anyway. Would you kiss a girl right now? It just sucks when it's like for a dude and you just have to do it for his entertainment. No, I wouldn't do it for your no, entertainment. No, no, it's, it's not for my entertainment. It's for the video's entertainment. And then ask her if she wants to kiss you. And if she says she'll only kiss you on the cheek, make sure to try to keep turning your head to kiss her on the lips anyway. And then act very disappointed that she didn't kiss you on the lips. Well, if you want to learn how to get women like Arya does, then you can buy his Instagame course for only $52. This course is being sold on a website called Brain Learns. On this website, they sell courses on a variety of different topics like body language and psychology, business and marketing, book. And in case a website called Brain Learn sounds sketchy to you, don't worry, they have real reviews from real people. For example, this art director named Allison says, I am sharing my deep gratitude. Every time I look at my phone, I am able to see how much my heart has been blown open by the humbling gratitude. We are grateful. There has never been another man in the history of humanity who has ever been as grateful as Allison. This man is so fucking grateful that his heart exploded. So, if you're looking for your heart to be blown and your brain to be learned, Brain Learns is the place for you. Now, obviously I'm not gonna waste $52 to buy this random course just for a YouTube video. Just kidding, of course I paid $52 for this course. Who do you think I am? So, was Arya's Instagame course worth the money? Spoiler alert, no it was not. Fuck what you know about dating, okay? The text game, the Tinder, all that bullshit, all the ways we use technology right now are actually stopping us from seeing 
the golden path that is Instagram. Basically, all the course boils down to is saying that when you meet a girl, you should give her your Instagram instead of giving her your number. Because when you give her your Instagram, she can get more familiar with you and see pictures of you, but if you give her your number, she can't see pictures of you. I just saved you $52. I am being a bit unfair. He did have some good advice on DMs that you can send to girls in response to their Instagram stories. Dope, haha, <laughs> lit, fire emoji, laughing emoji, OMG, you're wild, LMAO, it's lit, oh shit, haha, <laughs> damn, and fire. Now, you might be thinking, any moron with two brain cells could come up with story responses like that, but that would be very judgmental. Men with one brain cell deserve to have online courses too, and that's what brain learns is for. If you somehow still have doubts that Arya's instagame strategy would work, at the end of the course he shows some conversations he's had with women over Instagram to prove that this strategy works. In one of the conversations he's chatting with an 18 year old girl and he invites her to McDonald's and when she asks why he says because it has a playpen for you. So if you want to learn how to flirt with 18 year olds by pretending like they're children, check out Arya's Instagame course. Let's look at one more of Arya's songs. This one's called You and I. This is actually the song that made me finally decide to make this video because of just how tasteless the song is. The story begins with a boy and a girl. So this song is about a girl who is being abused by her boyfriend. So this girl summons Arya from the dead and then they each go and brutally murder her boyfriend with this extremely unnecessarily graphic animation. I don't even know how much I can show of this without getting demonetized, but this is basically animated torture porn where you watch this dude's legs get snapped in half, his eyeballs get gouged out, and his intestines get ripped out. The first thing I noticed is that this is some of the worst animation I've ever seen in my entire life. I feel like if you're gonna try to tackle the touchy subject of domestic abuse, then you should have animation that doesn't look like a goofier version of regular show. Like, this abusive boyfriend straight up looks like Muscle Man. And like, I'm all for songs about women getting back at their abusers, but instead of the song just focusing on her, Arya casts himself as this like, demon spirit that's being raised from the grave to rescue her. When Arya posted a clip of this song on his TikTok, he made sure to highlight a comment from a woman who said, it's comforting to see a man defend abused women when there are too many scary men out there. And he clearly singled out this comment to like performatively show everyone how good of a guy he is. And just another reminder that this is the same dude who just a few years ago was trying to pressure a bunch of random women to kiss him on camera. So. To me, this comes across less like female empowerment and more like Arya's weird white knight fantasy. And again, I'm not even against art that depicts violence towards abusers. The problem is that this song just comes across as so goofy and performative. Like, how am I supposed to take this animation seriously? Like, when they're murdering this dude, their eyes go bug-eyed out to the sides and it just looks so silly. Like, they look like Ren from Ren and Stimpy. How is this not a joke? 
This is literally me when I'm brutally murdering someone. If Arya watches this video, he'll probably get incredibly defensive and say that I'm making fun of this heartfelt story about domestic abuse. But again, I am not making fun of domestic abuse. Some of my favorite pop punk songs deal with domestic abuse, like the song Face Down by the Red Jumpsuit Apparatus. The reason I'm making fun of the song is because of this goofy animation and because it comes across like you see yourself as this weird demented white knight who wants to come to women's rescue, which does not work because of your history of being a creep. I hope today we have learned what not to do if you want to find success as a pop punk artist. Do not rely on ripping off other artists for your music, and most certainly do not try to paint yourself out as some sort of white knight savior to women when you have a history of being a creepy pickup artist that you haven't even bothered apologizing for. I didn't really mention this throughout the video, but the reason why I've been studying Arya so closely is so that I can rip him off and start my own career as a terrible pop punk artist. So. I hope you all enjoy my first single, White Knight. I'll come and rescue you. I like the taste of female ejaculate in my coffee. 